A short thought on hysterics. One time I thought I was Jesus. Another time, about three seconds after the first, I wanted to smack my fucking head in with a fucking fist of bricks. I heard a round of applause in heaven at my um, laudatory life and realised I'd just shot myself in the head. My name was Hunter Thompson and I had two thumbs. I thought about people who were genuinely sad and wanted to kill themselves. And if that's you, don't. Do it. I mean, don't worry about it if you do. If you do have to. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Save this kind of stuff for the, uh, in the older mental home. I don't know what the point of what I was going to say was. Maybe it was just, um, a, an attempt to practice this kind of saying a sentence, pausing, and then saying, Another sentence or part of said sentence. Aforementioned sentence. I sentence you to maybe watching this video. And maybe not. It doesn't matter. Hysterics. I feel like a quite a. Oh, I just got three hearts for my girl, for my wife. I nearly called her my girlfriend. Someone else, but not really. Well, I can't even remember what I was saying. Selfie, me and boiling water. I don't know, I, I felt like I, I was thinking about someone who might kill themselves, and I was thinking maybe I can just like put this thing out into the world that will st stop it just in time because this person is uh, one of the people who shouldn't kill themselves like a kind person probably most people who kill themselves are kind of kind at least I guess most of us are only kind of kind who could be pure kind except Jesus fucking Christ and um, part of me thought, uh, maybe you should like, like uh, start as you mean to go on. And basically, as soon as you have one of those impulses to like save someone's life, even if they're a non-existent person, um, then just, just like, you know, why not follow through on that one, even though it's completely insane. And there's other insane ideas that I might have, like, for instance, filling my face full of bricks, um, that I probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't do. I was going to ask you if you ever feel like just like, just throwing yourself on the floor and just going like, <laughs> um, I kind of feel like I'm going to do that. And I, I very rarely actually do do it. Don't know if that means I should. If I, I, I won't do it now. Don't worry. But I was gonna. I, I don't know. This video was meant to be asking, but asking the question of what that fucking feeling is. And I, I'm sure we could all give multiple reasons for it. Because sometimes it's just like getting out of bed and facing. The unfaceable. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've kind of got this idea at the moment that it's nothing. You know. But, but that, you know, that particular nothing. Oh, look, the monk by the sea. Do you know that one? You fucking should do. If not, what the fuck have you been doing with your life? Jesus fucking Christ!
This one's nice too. That's one of them um, fellas, Edward something from the, not New Romantics, New something, pre-Raphaelite? I don't fucking know. He's not dead anyway, he's sleeping. It's his dream. Lancelot having his dream. Lance, Lancelot, Lancelot. Lancelot. Yeah, it's that particular kind of nothing that you can't quite put your finger on. Particular, I meant to say. Um, I'm a great philosopher, by the way. I know so only great philosophers will get this, not a joke. Um, and that's that. You know, you that's that whole universal and particular thing. Sorry, sometimes I'm checking what I'm filming because I can see my face. Too, just like you can. There, that's my whole face. Yeah, you know that whole particular universal thing? Like, instead... Um, so, I've borrowed one of these words, which is universal, which is what we're going to have instead of universal. Universal. That comes from a mate, Mike Mack, who's a great fucking wizard, as well as possibly a schizophrenic and a bit of a weirdo. Which, you know, is basically what a fucking great fucking wizard is nowadays, according to me. And I should fucking know, because I am. That's all. <laughs> so we've got universal instead of universal. Do I need to explain what universal is instead of universal? Sorry, I can't. But I can explain what the other one is, because I made this one up. And it is particularity. So instead of particularity instead of the particular we have the particular and you know what that means it means you haven't particularized something unless you realize how very fucking peculiar it is and the theory is that if you do realize how very peculiar this particular thing is any particular thing then you no longer have this problem if that's what the particular and the universal was some kind of a problem I mean what was the problem something to do with the, f the form like if there's a universal thing then then how can it be a particular thing but if there's how can it be particular things without a universal thing hmm? Hmm? <laughs> whoops Oh yeah, so that kind of nothing. I mean, do you know the kind of nothing that you get close to it and you're like, oh my God, it's so big, it's so... <laughs> Am I being a non-duality teacher? <laughs> Is this me? Is this me doing the non-duality thing? How, how would an enlightened person act? What would an enlightened person not <coughs> say next? Actually, I can't do it. I can't do what the guy I saw do that did, which was to like just go quiet for a minute. I, I'm going to keep trying. Don't try. Let's do it. You already are it. That's the fucking thing. That's what pisses me off sometimes. With these fucking non-duality cunts. Like... Why does it have to be, you know, this particular way or that particular way? Why can't you be doing non-duality funnies? I mean, what what's a non-duality non-funny? So, I don't know. Do you want to know what temperature it is? It's... Oh, my God, it's a fractional dimension. It's between 15 and 16. I'm really glad um, there's people out there who are like rocks, you know. 
you can just say some people you'll say like something to and there'll be a rock as in it just doesn't even you know or they'll just be like you know shut the fuck up mate or whatever some people you can say something to and you know that they fucking well understand what you've said and uh and they'll just go like yeah but you know <laughs> not yeah but you know i don't know what will they do let me just think for a minute and i am going to actually think i think I'll, i think i'm just going to give the specific example and then i'm going to make my after lunch drink so the specific example was like i was like I was reading this book <clears throat> and I was like having this realization you know do you know what realization is of course you probably have realized something before but but when it's just like realization you know you're just like realizing it's this nothing not nothing thing that everybody's talking about and making money off <laughs> um what i find really good is when people who have really like had a fucking taste of it so much that they really fucking are almost not here and you know to some people if you were you know you know this this person could be just the fucking broken person in in the street so far as the world is concerned but but they have the fucking they know that not only are they not nothing oh. not not only are they nothing but they're not nothing i mean they're everything and nothing and all of that fucking bullshit i'm going to shut up that crap now it's when i mean you know the neither nor trick do you not know the neither nor trick because you fucking well should like people go on about the dialectic and this this and that and stuff and people go on and on and fucking on about the dialectic and you know we do seem to be bouncing back and forth between this and that and then you're like hang on but are we really isn't that just like a vast oversimplification of the complexity of what is actually fucking going on history i mean what the fuck is history anyway it's probably a more interesting question than the memory one This is just pure vacuity by the way I'm not meditating or anything. I'm thinking but I'm thinking in that way you know you're trying to think and there's just nothing there you go like the the neither nor thing so you do it with real right so you're going to do it with real Go on then choose something to do it with that's real. Right, blah blah blah. Look look around. Okay, let's take this pair of I stabbing Jesus Christ scissors. No. Don't fucking put the object down or whatever. You see, you start with you. One of the lovely things in this book, Form and Void by Bowl Jiroko or whatever his fucking name is. is like that anything you pick object and say is real and start from there it's borrowing its reality from what is really real which is what makes what appears real actually real
which is like your mind, except it's not yours, is it? It's just mind. It's mind. And there are all these weird animal beastly energies and shit, of course. I mean, probably if any of you are actually looking at the world, like news and shit, you probably know that. I looked the other day. What did I see the other day? I saw I saw the Chinese Communist Party, <laughs> their army marching. And like just two weeks before, I'd watched the Queen's funeral and I'd seen um I'd seen our boys, right? Fucking parading through the streets of Londinium or whatever the fuck it is. And I'd been like, <laughs> you fucking cunt. You're so amazing. I love you with your big fucking fluffy hats, like almost over your over your eyes, and you've got your guns upside down. I know it's because it's a funeral or the thing. I know you you can fucking knock it out if you have to. But I just loved you so much with your upside down guns and your big fluffy hats almost over your eyes. I didn't get the same feeling from watching the Chinese Communist Party army, and not because I'm a fucking racist. Which I might be. Even though I've got got back black bits, brown bits. I was gonna say something about my willy earlier as well. I'm glad I didn't say that. Um Oh fuck. This guy, it zoomed in on one guy's one soldier's face, and I was just like, I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you so fucking much. Um, and I don't hate soldiers or anything even though I'm not a massive fan of war I really respect soldiers fuck off <laughs> laughing and crying at the same time there we are so fucking right anyway Real. Oh, yeah, I was talking about what's real. So you've got to start with you, yourself, okay? Basically, whatever you think that is. Let's not get into that shit right now. The whole particular, universal, up your fucking arsehole crap. Are you real? And if you've never felt like you're not, or never known you're not, then you're probably not watching this video, are you? So the neither nor thing, you go, I'm real. And then you go, I'm not real. So let's call it unreal. And then you go, I am real and unreal. And then if you want, you like try and figure it out and, and you go like, oh yeah, so, you know, I mean, every sensible person agrees that there can't be contradictions. Huh, can there? So you go, perhaps my body is real. Let's just keep it fucking simple. And my mind is not. Perhaps I'm just a fucking epiphenomenon, you know? Perhaps I'm just demented, ge generated out of fucking tubular bunks. And that's what's real. And I'm just like, you know, a fantasy. I'm just imagination. Yes, you fucking are. Anyone who thinks they can tell the difference between imagination and consciousness isn't alive. And neither am I. Um, So where were we? So you, you say, so yeah, you sort it out. So you say, this bit of me is real and this bit of me is not real. And therefore, I am real and unreal. But it's not a contradiction, you know, because we've fucking done that. And then you go, I am unreal and not unreal. It's not working. It's not working because what you do then is you have the realisation, right? Then that, what that means is you've had the realisation and you can't just 
fucking give someone that because someone has to fucking really put themselves through it to get to that or you know they get hit by something which gives them it normally something gets taken away or something um i don't know is it is that coming through what was the fucking point of it Let's just watch the horses walking around. All right, Jakey, you big useless fat ass, disappearing, key shot, noble, noble beast. I can remember that I was meant to be talking about hysterics. Oh yeah, so someone who like really knows. Someone who's like, I don't know. <clears throat> I really like it when someone is able to like give you nothing if you can't give it to yourself and like show you what nothing really means because you know, it can't be a thing so it can't be a vacuum. It can't be, you know, if you haven't thought about nothing, you haven't thought because you are thinking about nothing. <laughs> When you, you know, when you know what nothing is, is this, that this is the void, then, then, you, then, then that is what you are and that's what this is. But when you come close to these kind of realizations, um, it can be a little bit scary, particularly if, if you've, I don't know, basically I um, had quite strong, powerful realisations in my early 20s um, that it makes, you know, it's hard to say what most people are experiencing, you know, what, what ne nearly everyone sniffs a flower and goes like, oh, that smells nice, you know, puts their nose in a rose. But some people are like, they put their nose in the rose and they're just like, you know, it's like old Blakey said, blah, 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 something, something, something. Most people don't fucking get it. I'm not sure that I do. Don't get half the stuff that I say until boom. <clears throat> senses. You know, we think our fucking senses are lying to us. They're not. Unless you're one of those people for whom they are. Because your 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 mind isn't like Mind. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, really. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It makes perfect sense. It's the only thing that makes sense. But that this is kind of like, I think that something like this is at the heart of every crisis. I mean, basically... It's the heart of everything anyway. There is nothing, so of course it is. But you know, you have like, well, you had Freud and you have like all these ideas about what ails you. And if you keep like digging, there's nothing there. And so, what is it then? 
for for me it is actually something but it's very impossible but now i'm starting to sound like the can or something from the little fucking bits that i've seen of him i quite like the frenchies to be fair i mean i i live in france a hey, uh Encore, j'ai beaucoup de difficultés avec le long. Parce que mon long is here. Stop those things. I think first we'd never do that. You know, I mean, there's. Uh, I, I feel when I look at a lot of the like French intellectual stuff that they're they're doing their best with the with the, the with this kind of knowledge except it's not it's not really knowledge that's the problem and you can't really uh get there with the intellect so i'm going to shut up now i'm going to say something um to my fellow artists or poets or whatever or poor people um i don't know it's so easy to make everything about something you know and at some point things come up and you're like oh that's what it's all about so this is one of my things that's not nothing although of course it all is anything is something and blah, blah, blah. for a long time i thought it was like all about just wanting to express something express nothing but like it was like you know if you are when you are sad i mean this i wouldn't say this worked for me this is how how i started to sing was being sad and being alone um so no one could fucking hear me so i didn't have to worry about that and i and i was just like so or whatever that i would just be like Aah! i wouldn't i would sing like weird or funny songs um I went up to Wind Green Hill, la 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 la. Past I did a small mole hill, oh lulu, lu, a lulu, lu. Bury me, the ant-sized king, ding ding ding. Good ding ding ding, bury me is what I'm thinking. Way oh way above my head, no crown of beach. Just blades of grass will do for me Cause I'll never be a king like you A king of me Myself I'll rule no treasures I'll take to my grave All through my life I'll have them laid And treasures naught of precious metals Only experiences that have settled only experiences that have settled and so my message to you is basically to do something with it whatever you're capable of doing it uh, with it and thank you to all of those people who are doing nice kind um supportive things for all of us, for it, even though, you know, the road to hell is paved with good intentions as well. So be fucking careful. But, you know, you see suffering or whatever, you have to stop it. Or do what you can towards it. In fact, 
the other thing is to kind of do something with it, not necessarily stop it, transform it. I guess that's what I'm talking about with uh, this. And for artists, like quite often, you know, be trying to figure figuring stuff out, or, or you'll be like reading intellectual intellectual people. God bless them, and. Um, it's only is I'm only anti-intellectual when it gets to be very high what we're talking about and very imminent, very here, very you know so here you can't put your fucking finger on it and the and then I'm not I'm not really anti-intellectual I'm just like you know I've had my own fucking problems with thinking about this stuff. And so sometimes it seems to me like, you see, the mathematicians and people like that, they're one of my, another bugbear of mine, mathematicians, only because of the fucking cunt world who, of our, our values, you know, how we can value certain things and like the guy who discovers, you know, the eternal relation of one and, Point four three to seven point eight thing thing is like bang like give that guy some money he can work in our fucking spaceship factory obviously you don't want me in your spaceship factory and I don't want to be there either because I know, I know what's happening and it's not so simple as that not so lit not so literal as that so I'm already working in the fucking spaceship factory, thank you very fucking much. And I spell factory PH, just like I spell fuck. No C either. Um, yeah, so you know, so can't see mess around with words and stuff, discover things, eternal fucking things. Yeah, one. You know, one, that's like not in the world, is it? That's like the unchanging, isn't it? Um, um, yeah, so if you, if you are able to like, I mean, you know, what I really want is for you to be watching this. You, who are gonna be the one who can sing the fucking song, you know, the song. Of silence. But, but as well, just to like say to the rest of us who are just like trying to bring something um, more, um, or less into the world. That's what it's about. So, okay. So it stopped. Hopefully that was everything. And, um, I will now shut up, have my little drink. Um, and yeah, you know, maths is music. Music is maths. It's not. Music is fucking music. Um, so m whatever it is you're doing make it music make it fucking poetry make it fucking sexy make it violent <laughs> but you know the right kind of violent make it fucking ruthless but you know the right kind of ruthless Make it fucking shine. Don't think there's a wrong kind of shine, so make it shine. Keep up the good wonk. I do actually love you. Fuck off.